Okay, so this search result came up last night, late at night, when I was excited after seeing a concert, after I was looking up Wonder Woman, of all things. <laughs> and if anybody would have this crazy blood type, it would be Wonder Woman. So, I don't know, it's really weird, after all my research on blood types, and just my fascination with blood types, and my fascination with ancient astronauts, and the fact that RH negative blood could have been introduced into the population via ancient astronauts, or people from Mars. Um, there's always been this saying, not always, but David Icke, anyway, ir irrespective of what you think of him basically always said that white people are from Mars and it kind of makes sense because Mars is one planet away further away from the Sun than Earth so we have lighter pigmentation and we're hegemonic white people have always been hegemonic so we came we come we conquer other lands and we came we conquered Earth and that's how it goes but that's another theory for another time regardless this thing freaked me out and one of the other things that freaked me out too is that and this sort of goes in line with my own personal history. My mother is RH negative. I am RH positive. When she gave birth to me, she had to have a shot of Pitocin because apparently we are the only animals on this planet that have the negatively and positively charged blood. I think, I think donkeys do too, but we're the only ones who have that. And we're the only ones wherein the mother can see the baby as a threat. A threat to her survival so the mother has to have a shot of Pitocin in order to give birth otherwise the baby will kill her and she will kill the baby that's a metaphor for <laughs> a few different mother-daughter relationships I'm not gonna get into that but in any case RH null the rarest blood type on earth has been called the golden blood so this is the article that I came up with and it basically says there are eight common blood types keyword here common if what you know about blood type stops around there, then this is all going to escalate very quickly. Then there are literally millions of varieties of blood types, and the rarest one is shared by fewer than 45 people on Earth. Talk about exclusive. The ins and outs of blood types are always way more complicated than you probably want them to be. Maybe that's just us. But here's a relatively quick crash course. We are filled with red blood cells that carry oxygen through our bodies. Antigens cover the cells like sprinkles on a donut. The semblance of antigens on your, on your red blood cells are like little name tags that tell your body, Hi, I'll go, I go here to which your antibodies respond nice the rest of us won't attack you your white blood cells latch onto these antigens and act as a shield against infection okay so the two main antigens are a and b the kind you have already determined by the allele gene variants given to you by your parents a and b are dominant while o which does not have the corresponding antigen is recessive and that's so weird because remember how most of us were taught in school that o positive is the universal donor only to discover that o negative is really the universal donor well i was always taught that o was the dominant one and that most of us had it as a matter of fact two years ago when i was really actively studying this stuff that's always what it said i mean maybe i'm confusing i'm confusing dominant for being dominant in the population but even still that's what i was always led to believe is that if a gene is dominant more people have it in any case let's continue um okay then in different group there's the rhesus d antigen which gives us all positive negative stuff for whatever reason it's called the rh factor positive blood has the rh factor it contains the d antigen the negative type lacks it easy enough there are 35 blood type groups recognized by the international society of blood transfusion but for simplicity's sake should be simplicity apostrophe s sake most people only really need to know about the two more, most important ones, ABO and rhesus D system. If the 35 blood type groups didn't throw you, now this is where it gets even hairier. There are hundreds of different antigens and they fall into 33 recognized antigen systems. These don't all really get talked about because, for example, more than 99.9% .9 of people carry the antigen VEL. Tagging VEL onto the end of your blood type, i.e. AB VEL, would probably just be redundant. Not simplifying your blood type would be kind of like telling a really boring story with all the unnecessary and obvious details included. Just get to the good stuff, please. We can assume the rest. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have read that paragraph because that was kind of boring too, <laughs> but kind of interesting. Okay, there's rare, then there's rare. <laughs> After the eight common blood types, we've got a few unicorns, something like 160 of the 342 
uh, group antigens are high prevalence, which means most people have them on their red blood cells. If you lack an antigen that 99% of people have, then your blood is considered rare. If you lack one that 99.99% .99 of the people have, then congratulations, you're Spider-Man. I'm just kidding, probably. And that's weird because I was looking up Wonder Woman when I found this. The rarest blood type in existence is RH null blood. This stuff is characterized by a complete lack of antigens in the RH system which is the largest blood group system. This includes the D antigen RH factor for baby plus other 50 something antigens in the group. This blood type is so rare that only 43 per people on earth have ever been reported to have it. And there are only nine active donors. Until 1961, doctors assumed a person lacking all RH antigens would never even make it out of the womb alive. It's the golden blood, Dr. Terry Payard, director of National Immunology Reference Laboratory in Paris, Paris told Mosaic. Be besides making someone feel really special, RH null and other rare bloods are extremely valuable because RH null blood can be considered universal blood for anyone with rare blood types within the RH system. So I guess that's another blood type aside from o, o negative. So it must be related to O negative somehow or it came from a totally different source, but a really rare totally different source. Um, its life-saving capability is enormous. As such, it's also highly prized by doctors, although it will be given to patients only in extreme circumstances after very careful consideration because it may be nigh or impossible to replace. And that's what this guy is. I mean, you take this guy, the man with the golden arm. He saves babies and mothers, and basically, I think it's from the negative to positive RH factor. But that's weird, because I always thought that's what Pitocin was. Maybe that's what Pitocin's made out of. Maybe he's got the real deal Pitocin. It's just so strange to me, because I'd never heard of it. Then I also talked to my friend who's a nurse. And I posted on her Facebook page last night because I was still so weirded out. Hey, oh my god, you're in the medical profession. So I must ask you, aside from A, B, A, B, and O, which is now the recessive O, along with RH negative and positive, have you ever heard of golden blood? A, K, A, R, H, no. And my friend who's a nurse on the top says, no. She's like so strange. It's so weird because I also remember the exclamation points and the question marks being interspersed, but oh well. And then one of her other friends, who's also a nurse, says, I have once, never thought about it again until now. And she puts the Wikipedia page up, but it's actually just a Wikipedia page about blood types and it doesn't really get into the golden blood. And I'm telling you, I just always thought, I just always thought that, you know, if something is so rare as golden blood, and you're having a discussion about blood types, I mean, why wouldn't you factor it in? Rare things are fascinating for humanity. So, I don't know. It's just fascinating to me. I had to tell you guys. Tell me what you've heard. Tell me what you know. If you're in the medical profession, tell me. I would really want to know that. I would be really, really fascinated to know what you know and to know if you've ever heard of it. Because again, my fascination with this two years and my study of it was extensive. And there's only maybe three videos about it on YouTube as well. And they come up when you research Wonder Woman. In any case, guys, just let me know. You guys are all awesome. And I hope you're having a copacetic day.